as someone that is very much a summer girl, I really have to lean into kind of like seasonal activities, seasonal festivities to just like enjoy the other months. <laughs> so this is something that I honestly love doing. I love having a little cozy self-care evening in the fall and winter. I have cookies that I prepped earlier that are ready to be baked. I have a book on the go. I have my cozy sweater on. I have fuzzy socks on and I have a bath waiting for me later. But we're gonna get into all of that throughout this video. It has been raining all day and the leaves have finally started to turn. My street, I don't know why, but all the trees just get bright red. And then on the next street over, all of the trees go bright yellow. It is so pretty. About like two weeks ago, it was really hot and now it has dropped to like 10 degrees and it is like prime British Columbia fall weather, which is kind of great. This is the time of year where I still really enjoy that type of weather. It hasn't really, I haven't gotten sick of it yet. <laughs> About to get there at some point because your girl struggles with a little bit of seasonal depression here and there, but you know what helps that? A cozy fall evening. a vegan lentil shepherd's pie. I made a big batch of this two days ago. Truly, I am happiest when I have leftovers. Like, it is the best feeling getting to the end of the day and realizing that you don't have to cook because you already cooked earlier and you have delicious food that you can just heat up and eat right away. It is amazing. This also turned out so good. It has like garlic mashed potatoes on top and just like a lentil, onion, shallot, carrots, peas, that kind of mixture at the bottom and it is so good. I could totally see this becoming one of like my absolute like go-to fall meals. I am hopefully not gonna burn myself when I eat this. It is so good. This is like the epitome of vegan comfort food right here. And before I hop in the bath, I'm going to, of course, do my skincare, starting with removing my makeup with one of these makeup eraser wipes. I absolutely love these things. And then I do a double cleanse, starting with a Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser, rinsing that off, and then going in with my CeraVe Acne Foaming Cleanser. This has benzoyl peroxide in it, and it has helped so much with my acne. And then continuing with my skincare routine, I'm going in with this AHA and BHA toner as well as some niacinamide and my regular moisturizer. As you can tell, I love The Ordinary. This isn't sponsored, but their products just really work for my skin. And of course, I always like to go in with a body butter after a bath because otherwise my skin can get really dry. I made tea. This is like one of my favorite teas. It's the traditional medicinals lavender and chamomile. It's so cozy. I, I love it so much and I put a little bit of my homemade almond milk in it and the most exciting part, I finally get to try the cookies that I made earlier. Mm. 
That is so good. And as I am watching Gilmore Girls, of course, I'm going back into my journals and just going through my to-do list for that day, checking off anything that I was able to accomplish and writing my to-do list for the next day. This is essential for me just to stay on top of what I have going on in my life, but also just to make sure that I'm not um, forgetting things or making it so then the things that I might forget keep me up at night. Um, that is definitely a very real struggle. So this is what I do to combat that. And I also love to just do a free journal entry and see what comes to mind. After, I will quickly do my teeth routine and hop into bed. And now for my absolute favorite part of my nighttime routine as of lately, I have finally broken the habit of always watching Netflix before I go to sleep. And I've been reading consistently before I go to bed and I am so happy that I'm forming this habit. I feel like I'm sleeping so much better because of it as well. But right now I'm reading A Court of Thorns and Roses. I actually just finished it and when I tell you I cried real tears from this book, um, believe it. <laughs> but anyway, I will just read until my eyes will literally not stay open any longer and then I will turn out my light and go to sleep. 